What's up guys, Football Video here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a um, soccer shoe, soccer cleat collection video. Um, I've seen a lot of these videos on YouTube and of course I wanted to show you guys my collection. Please keep in mind in no way am I showing off, I just want to show what I have collected over the past years. And please keep in mind that I am still fairly young, I believe, and I haven't had that much time to collect so many soccer shoes. Also because my feet have been growing, um, I mean they haven't grown in a while so I've been able to keep quite a few pairs but when I was younger we would just throw away old cleats that wouldn't fit so I don't have those anymore. But I'd like to just show you what I have and also for the coming years I can look back on this video and see how my um, collection has grown. So please enjoy and let me know um, of your opinion in the comments below. Alright, so let's just get right into the video. I have the shoes laying down next to me, so I might have to um, grab the shoes, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Let's just get right started. So, first off, I thought I'd get the futsal shoes. Um, so, first up, I have the Adidas Free Football Boost Messi. This is definitely my favorite futsal shoe I've ever had. Um, I did unbox these on my channel. I'll leave a card, as YouTube likes to call it, on screen. Super comfortable shoe because of the boost um, sole um, and also super comfortable with that synthetic leather. Um, just a great overall futsal shoe if you're looking to get one. They also released some new colorways with this shoe, um, so make sure to go check those out. Putting those by side, next up my next futsal shoes, the Lunar Gato. Oh, excuse me, not even the Lunar, just the regular Gato. Um, I got these at a at Nike store online. Because I needed some for a futsal tournament. And I really liked how these were super bright. Popped out a lot. Um, this sole is also, I guess, fairly comfortable. It's not the softest, but works pretty well. The grip on these isn't that great. But I really like the, the leather upper. Super comfortable. Um, however, the sole plate wasn't the greatest. Getting into my first pair of cleats, I'm going to start off with a pair of cleats that are now too small for me, and you're probably looking on screen right now like, what the, is, what is this? Um, this is the first generation Adi Zero F50, the ones that Lionel Messi debuted in the 2010 World Cup. Um, I actually bought these in a store that customized these, so the store customized these, and then customized these and then sold them. Um, I purchased these. I thought they were really cool and something different. They're Mi Adidas here on the insole. You can see with that Mi Adidas branding. Let me know if you'd like to see a review on these. I mean, they, they're too small for me since they're a size 8. I'm now a size 10, so they're way too small. Um, but I purchased these in support of curing breast cancer and the fight against breast cancer. So I thought that was a great cause. Um, like I said, let me know if you'd like to see a video on these. I'd definitely be open to making one. Um, and these are not for sale. Next up, um, let me get into some Addy Pears in my collection. I've always been a big fan of the Addy Pears and ever since they were released. Um, I bought some Addy Pears. Um, and I was quite sad when they replaced them with the Nitro Charges. So, here we go. The Addy Pure 11 Pro um, 1, I believe. Yeah, this is the Addy Pure one quite dirty as you can see these are a size let me check nine so they're too small for me as well um, I'd be glad to take offers just send me an email at foot my email address footballpedia ig at gmail.com um, just send me an offer if you're interested I really like I've been a fan of the Addy Pure and I like the 11 Pro the sole plate is really nice on these um, and the leather is of course super soft um, slightly worn. I never wore these too much because I got injured when I bought the uh, right after I bought these, um, and then uh, they were too small. But super comfortable boot. I really loved wearing these. So if you're interested, just shoot me an email and we can talk. Um, but here's the Addy Pure 11 Pro One. Next boot, um, sticking with the Addy Pure 11 One theme, is a boot that that wasn't very popular to be to say the most. Um, this boot did sell, uh, did not sell out. I mean, you could buy these probably a month after. Um, I didn't lace them nicely, but here you go. The Addy Pure uh, 11 Pro SL1. Um, there were Addy Pure SLs before, but this is the Addy Pure 11 Pro, 11 Pro SL1. 
super cool shoe. Um, very similar to the Adi Zero, I have to say, with that with that sole plate, um, with the sprint frame, as they like to call it. It has the Mi Adidas on the bottom as well. Um, I still wear these sometimes. I mean, I usually only wear them on firm ground because, as you can see, the quality isn't the greatest on these shoes. Um, the leather is nice, though. I really like the leather. It's not super soft, but um, it's very thin to keep the boot very lightweight. Have those neon hits with the chrome Adidas stripes. Um, and the only issue I really did have with these shoes, other than the quality, of course, is that the midfoot is very tight. So when you when because when you wrap the laces, this really stiff plastic wraps your midfoot, um, and then it might cause you some issues. Um, so that would be one thing to be careful about when you want to purchase these, since you can still find these on eBay. But other than that, really cool shoe. Love the Addy Pure. Um, let's get into the next boot. So the next boot is the Adidas 11 Pro SL2. Boom. I bought these at ProDirectSoccer.com for a really good price. I'm not sure what the price was exactly. I don't want to say some random price, but um, a really good deal compared to the retail price. I wore these a lot. Um, you can tell, like, even the, the sole plate here in the back is separating, has the Mi Adidas. The studs are worn off quite a bit. But I just thought this one, when I one of the boot first released, I thought this was a really classy pair with the black and with the slime green. Um, I really liked it. Um, the leather is super soft on these, all around leather compared to the first 11 Pro SL. Um, this one has leather all around, even in the, in the heel with your 11 Pro branding there. Um, nothing much to say, just a super solid cleat. If you're looking for a leather boot that's lightweight, super comfortable, um, purchase these. You can probably still find these on eBay, dead stock, or brand new. Um, so make sure to go check those out. Next up, getting into some more um, Addy Zeros. The Addy Zero F50 Blackout. Adidas has just con discontinued these shoes. Um, these are 9.5. It has that all black upper within the uh, kind of neon green, slime green hits. And then your F50 branding with the Adidas logo. Really love these shoes. Um, I feel like though when I when I wear these, they don't completely fit to my foot shape. Um, so that's the only reason I haven't really worn these a lot, but I'm looking to wear these more now. And another cool feature is this, the, the heel. Um, since this is the leather version, the leather in the front, and then it has a synthetic in the back. The synthetic part is actually with the light, you can see how it gl there's glitter on it, which is really cool. Um, I really like that part about it. Um, yeah, so that's a cool feature. Other than that, the leather is nice and soft. Only issue is probably durability since I wore these on turf. The leather um, has been wearing off and I'm afraid holes will probably be in there soon. But other than that, I really love the shoe. Definitely going to keep on wearing it. Now getting into some more recent releases. Um, I have the Hyper Venom Phantom 1. Definitely a great shoe. Didn't wear these too often. I actually made a video, an unboxing, and a review on these and playtest. If you'd like to go check that out. I'll leave an annotation on screen. Um, super cool shoe, nothing much to say. Kind of sad to see that the new Hyper Venom has been released. Um, on my Instagram, I posted some more pictures. So for that, this, oh yeah, this is the Hyper Crimson, Crimson colorway, but I call these peach colorway just because the orange slash pink reminds me a lot of peaches. So um, love these shoes. Um, no really downfall to the Hyper Venoms except the durability, but these pairs uh, this pair has done a great job for me. Next off, um, let's get into the Magista Opus. This is one of the more really, really recent Magista colorways um, with the blue to the green fade. Nice sole plate. I have a review on these on my webpage, footballpedia.net. Um, also, have a review on these, or no, I'm boxing video on these on my channel. So, if you'd like to see those, um, go check that out, but these are a size 10 and at first they really didn't fit that well But over time they stretched out quite a bit and now they fit perfect I really love that you know that that slime to blue fade that really just that separates this shoe from every uh, other shoe um, That's why I love the Magista so much 
Um, very solid option if you're not looking to spend $275. Next up, I have a turf shoe. This shoe I wear quite a bit on turf because it is very durable and super great shoe. I have an unboxing and review, and that is the Elastico Superfly. Um, it is a very bright boot with like mainly orange upper, predominant orange, but then it has that neon green hits right here. Then also, the as you can see, the inside of the sock is um, neon green. That's super cool. Then it has that snake print on the heel, on the swoosh as well, and then the bottom has that green as well. Nothing to complain about this boot. And this, I've had this shoe for maybe half a year now when it came out, so a while now. And the only downfall I'd say is that it does it is very narrow for a futsal shoe. So when you're considering buying these shoes, consider that they are very narrow. And um, keep that in mind. Other than that, with the Nike skin and the forefoot and the flying and everywhere, super comfortable shoe. Um, other than that, um, nothing to say. As you might have noticed, I put um, a lot of consideration into how comfortable a shoe is. And so all the shoes you've seen in this video at least to me, are very comfortable, and the Elastico Superfly definitely counts to that as well. Now to the last pair of my collection, my until now very small collection, and if you have been following me for a while and you, you follow me on Snapchat as well, you will know what the shoe is, and that is the Nike Magista Obra Rough Green. Um, today the Wolf Grey pack was, or the Silver Storm pack was released, um, so this is no longer the newest Nike Magista Obra, but I mean it just this is probably my favorite shoe out of my collection just because of the technology that is in this shoe. Um, you have this green fly knit pattern, then with the black dynamic fit collar and sole plate, then the olive green on the bottom with your orange hits here and there. So here and then the swoosh of course is orange. Got that all conditions control. If you'd like to hear more, go check out my unboxing, um, and then I'll be re releasing a um, rundown of these soon. Just takes forever to upload. I actually already filmed that video, but it takes forever to upload on YouTube since the videos are so long. But overall, great shoe. Love the flying. It nothing to complain about. Um, so that was the last shoe in my collection. All right, thank you very much for tuning in today. I appreciate your support. Here you can see my collection um, all together at once. Um, over time, I'm looking to expand my collection as I bring more unboxing, reviews, play tests, how-to videos to you guys. So just thank you very much for watching today. I appreciate your support and see you next time. Peace.